Hey y'all, this is Cyberigle, and welcome back to what actually was supposed to be my last Minecraft mod showcase about six weeks ago or so now, but I kept getting behind on it, trying to get things set up. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, a special 1.7.10 mod called A Porting Core. One of my subscribers, Suntan Duck 2, brought it to my attention. Uh, he's one of the ones who worked on it. And basically, this is actually a really cool mod, and as far as I know, it's still in development, though. Because of the nature of it, it's a little bit difficult to for them to, um, or I'll say they're still having to fine-tune it. But basically, it allows you to backport mods for Minecraft versions 1.8 through 1.12.2 into 1.7.10, which is what I'm in now. Um, at the moment, not all mods will work correctly. Uh, you could probably let them know on the Minecraft forum page or on, um, I think CurseForge has comment, has a comment system. It's been too long because I've used a mod from it, but, uh, you can probably check out either of those and, um, let them know if you come across one that maybe works. They do also the my oh, Minecraft forum page for sure have a link to a spreadsheet that basically lists mods that they've confirmed to work. I'm using two of them right now. One is um, toggle sprinting, and I want to say the ver um, the version that I'm using is from 1.10.2 maybe. Or basically just press R and. You just automatically sprint whenever you hold the W key. The other one is um, something like a view saturation. Let me double check the name of that one actually. Uh, yeah, saturation display. And basically all it does, it tell, it displays how much saturation you have available. Right now I've got a um, pin um sorry i don't know what i was thinking why i don't know why i thought getting rid of the armor would help anyway right now i've got 10 and um that's also actually after i um had a gapple when i was testing it out earlier but um now i originally told suntan duck to, well uh suntan duck 2 had originally requested that i do a tutorial there we go you can see the saturation go down Saturation, of course, um, basically regions health after uh, and uses up your hunger bar. Do so. And anyway, I told him I would do a um, originally a uh, tutorial on it. But to be totally honest, the instructions they have available on the Minecraft forum page are so thorough. That I honestly don't think y'all are gonna have any trouble with it. I'm gonna leave links to the instructions page. Let's see their uh, official wiki on Feed the Beast. Oh, also the compatible mods list is actually in, um, or the I should say the confirmed one is on um, A, is on the Curse Forge, pa Curse Forge page. But uh, so far, uh, they have figured out Galacticraft and ASJ Core for older versions of Aporting Core are um, incompatible. And um, like I said, y'all can definitely help them out if you maybe come across one that does work. But basically, uh, let's, most of y'all are probably, I will go ahead and at least walk through or um, explain one thing real quick. The way you're going to end up installing it is uh, you do have to edit your, um, because of the nature of it, you do have to edit your uh, 1.7.10 Forge installer. But basically what you can do is you download and install the latest version of Forge 1.7.10, download a porting core, Put it in your normal 1.7.10 mods folder as well as any mods you want. 
but what you have to do is you have to um, um, go in and open Forge as a archive. You can find it under the um, uh, under your Minecraft game folder under the meta dash inf. After you open it, oh, wait, excuse me, sorry, I'm misspoke for a second there. All right, the forge may vary, but it should be under, yeah, users, your name, see, users, your name here, uh, or your name, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft libraries, net, Minecraft forge, uh, forge, and then the version. And what you could do is you could get in there and, um, like I said, open it up usually with something like, say, 7zip, which is free. I would right click and, um, just tell it to open up the uh, forge file with um, or forge.jar file with uh, 7zip. Go to the meta-inf folder. You'll need to delete forge.dsa and forge.sf and edit the manifest.mf file by deleting everything below the 22nd line. Like I said, they, they go through all this in their instructions. I would do that might make an extra tutorial video but honestly I felt like I, I like I said the instructions they have are so good I honestly feel like uh, doing this little showcase and kind of mini walkthrough would actually be better for it but um, full disclosure I did go through and test a few mods that I've done um, mod showcases for and they I at least in my testing couldn't get those to work, but I'm sure just because just from how they were able to get even this done, that shows you they know what they're doing. And so I'm sure they're gonna keep working on it and try and make as many compatible as possible. But uh so far there are let's see. I'm verifying how many mods. Yeah, there's a decent amount of mods available. Um, there are, let's see, 33 that, or no, or no, excuse me, 35, I believe. Yeah, that work to some extent. And a couple of them, Crash Reporter and Extend Polyphony Limit, which allows more sounds to be played at once that they weren't able to verify but um otherwise it's the only thing is um the main the main issue they have with this is uh some of the larger mods that make massive changes but it definitely works for some of the ones that just kind of add content here and there probably i would guess a lot of the ones that i usually describe myself is as um fitting in well with, uh, there we go. Anyway, the ones I described personally is fitting in with um, the vanilla Minecraft content. All those actually do indeed work. The issue is the ones that um, try to add too much, like tons of new mobs and mechanics and things like that, especially the ones that add game mechanics those apparently don't work very well but that's about all i got for this like i said all the links you'll need to be down in the video description thank y'all for watching hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like if you're new here and like to see don't forget to sub the channel have a great rest of the day y'all and or night whatever it is when you watch this and suntan duck sorry once again that it took me so long and uh great work on this though i hope y'all keep um making more progress on it.